when I was reading your website too, it says that, I mean, me, I'm big on words, especially the fact that I do comedy, you have to choose certain words that's going to hit the people. I saw that you put, you fled Haiti in 2004. Yeah, yeah. Why the word fled? It was literally that, because um, it was that government um, was arrested. Right. So they were at... That day, I remember that day like it was, you know, yesterday. So I went and played basketball with my friends, you know, just joking around. And I didn't have cell phone. We didn't have any cell phone that, that, those times. So I could hear um, on the radio, like at my friend's house, I was playing basketball, that my mom is just sc screaming, saying, if you see my son, tell him not to go home because there's you know, guys in front of the house with guns waiting, you know, for anyone coming in so they could shoot. So from there, um, they picked me up, not my parents, but a group of other people that helped us around that time. They picked me up from basketball, and that's where I left my house. And then that's the way I came to New York. So from, from hold on, did you leave by um, Aeroport to St. Louis? Or you no, no, to I went to a house. I went to a house in Port-au-Prince, stay in hiding, you know, uh, for three months, I think. You three know, months? Yeah. You didn't go to school, nothing? Nothing. We Don't stayed, go out. stayed in there. Well, well, I can say it now, we went out at night, you know, because there were two other brothers, like, they were same age, but we took the risk. We went out at night. Without What's up is in back home, right? <laughs> <laughs> so your parents didn't know you guys were going no, out? No, no, they didn't know. Who age did you leave? 16. Damn, bro. You think it was like that? Yeah, man. We went out. <laughs> but we always say, you know, we would never stop for it, for no one. Like, cops, nothing. <laughs> Where are you? Where so, Damn, bro. But, yeah. So that, that was true. And then I had to leave after that. Finish high school and... So did your parents leave with you, or they stayed in Haiti? They yourself? stayed. My parents never left. Yeah. But but they would, you know, skip houses, go into different houses until everything calmed Die down. Die down. Die down because why they had to go into hiding? Was it because the activism? Because I know your your, yeah. your father is very and your mom too. They're very vocal. Activism and Bookman have you know been through it. Of course. Say I mean even from the lyrics. army time, you know, from nineteen nineties. Mm -hmm. Like they get me and IT, they went through so many things. They didn't want them to play certain carnivals. Sometimes they performing on stage, you know, people come with guns and say, if you play that song, we're gonna shoot you. They have so many stories. Oh, I need so to by 2004, they were like, they, they can control that situation. But for us, you know, kids, we were like, oh my God, you know, that's crazy. But for them, they were like, don't worry, we've been through it, you know, it's gonna come, you know. It's, it's gonna did, be okay. Did your parents' activism start during the Duvalier era or that was after Duvalier left? I think it's from the music because the last in music, that's exactly why, you know, no one never wanted to play it on the radio. Still today, they don't play it on the radio in Haiti. Why is that? Because of, it wakes you up. You know, what the what last in music talks about, it wakes something up inside you. It, it, because it makes you think right. of the situation, like face to face, like you're not hiding. You're not only, it's not a love song only. You know, it's a love for yourself, a love for your country. It wakes you up. So it, it's a dangerous music. You know what I think too, man? I for, think because know, for the system. Whenever I listen to your music, your parents' music, there's something, I don't know what it is, but the drums, that's why us African people, the, yeah. the, the drums speak to us. Yes, it does. And uh, I don't know, man. Like the, the, when those drums hit, you just feel like you feel extra black, you know? Yeah, that's the point. Because the drums is a communication, you know. Right. And in our culture too, if you know the rhythms, you're listening to them, you know they are communicating. And us who are African naturally you feel that right you know it's not going you know it's going through you and sometimes you feel it from you you know going all the way up you right. feel it and and it's normal it's that's that's what you should feel there's nothing to be ashamed about well i'm saying that for 
people who's watching right now. But there's nothing to be ashamed about when you feel like you're getting that trend. You know, that trend is a normal thing as a human. The trend is freedom. Right. It, that's that's what we all we want. And I you feel know? like they can they can see, they can tell from your music though, because you don't. I don't feel like you try to hide it or no, you don't no. try to hide who you are. Not at all. What your beliefs are. No, 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 no. That's yeah. the last thing. You know, I wouldn't want people to see. I want people to see exactly who we are. You know, and and um, you know the struggle and also the love. Everything that we do is because of love, you know, there's nothing else behind all we're trying to, you know, it's all love.